Hey there, this is Matt from AI Lab Zone, and today I'm gonna to show you how to take a vertical image and make it horizontal using Photoshop's new AI features. So let's get into it. So first thing that you wanna do is open up your image in Photoshop. I'm just gonna copy my initial layer so it's a new layer here, and I'll just uh, hide my initial uh, layer. Next, I'm going to select the crop tool on the left-hand side, and then I'm just gonna select my aspect ratio, I'm going to do a 4x5 and it's going to be horizontal so I'm just going to switch it up here in the, in the top. And then with my crop I'm just going to uh, click on the top of the crop tool, drag it all the way up to, to the top and the bottom all the way to the bottom and just hit enter. So now it's going to look like this. So next I'm going to go up to the selector tool. Uh, the, the square um, selector tool here and then I'm going to select this area on the left hand side that is empty and then I kind of overlap the image just a little bit um, and then I select this generative fill button right here and then you won't need to add anything in the text unless if you want to try to identify um, something that you want to put over in this area but in this case I just want it to be uh, a horizontal image so I'm going to click generate and it'll take a second to generate the rest of the image so as you can see it, it just automatically created um, part of, a part of this image so what you can do is you can uh, they give you three selections here so you can select which one you think looks the best out of these three so I kind of kind of like the middle one here so I think I'll select that middle one and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna do the same exact thing so I still have my select tool open I'm just gonna um, select this area and it is good to overlap um, otherwise I found there you can kind of see a seam uh, if you don't overlap a little bit so um, so that's why I do that and then again, I'm just gonna click this generative fill. I'm not gonna type in anything. Again, you can type in something that you wanna see. You could say like, I wanna see like a, an elephant trunk here or something like that. But for me, I just want it, want a, a normal picture. So I'm just gonna click generate. And as you can see, it, the AI uh, took the information from the image and created this part of the, of the picture. So I'm gonna just see what they have uh, available. You know, I actually don't like any of these, so what you can do is you can just um, go over to the right hand side to the properties and just click generate again. And that way it'll keep the same selection and uh, will generate another three images for you to take a look at. So these are my new three images, so I'm just going to look through these. Um, you know, this one looks okay. There's a little, there's a little bit of a haze up at the top. But I'm just gonna, that's okay, I'm just gonna crop it down a little bit to take that little haze out. And there we go. This is uh, a picture that was vertical and then um, was able to make it horizontal using the new generative fill AI tool on Photoshop. So if you like this video, if this was helpful to you, make sure you like and subscribe. Also in the comments, let me know, is, is this helpful to you? Is there something else that you like to do to make vertical images horizontal? Um, and let me know what other AI tools you'd like to see. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.